In this video we're going to discuss the cleaning and sorting of data. Questionnaires are really easy to misunderstand and it's also easy to enter ridiculous values into a database. So it's important to check that the data that we're presented with is not corrupted or taking impossible values. If we do find that there is data that we suspect is corrupted or taking impossible values, then we need to clean these silly values by either rejecting the entries completely or possibly by trying to correct the entries. Ideally this should be done before any analysis although the analysis itself may throw up values which need to be deleted because they seem ridiculous in the light of the analysis that we've had done. Yian has just collected data from a questionnaire completed by pupils at his school showing the size of families and some of the details of the cars that each of the families own. The results are shown in the table below. Now at this stage I want you to just pause the video and look carefully at the data. Can you see any suspicious values? What should be done about them? So pause the video, look through the data that we've got in this um, from this questionnaire and see whether there are any silly values that need to be thought about. Okay, well let's first of all look at family C. Family C would be in the would possibly have to be eliminated from the data if Yian wishes to investigate the properties of the cars owned by a family. However, it can remain part of the survey if he simply wishes to investigate family size or the number of cars that families have or the connection between these two quantities. So it's, up to, it's very much up to Yian to decide whether he needs family C in his survey or not. Family J, the car length for family J cannot possibly be 361 meters. It's possible that the length has been entered incorrectly in the questionnaire as a length in centimeters. So for any investigation that's going to start looking at the length of the longest cars, Yaya must either decide to assume that this is, is the case and clean the data by changing the length to 3.61 or eliminate the data from the survey. If we look at family K, the car length of that is also suspicious, unless possibly the car is a stretch limousine. If Yian knows there's a pupil in his school whose family own a limo, then he would be justified in keeping this value. Otherwise, he may well have to eliminate family K from his survey. And if we look at family W, the age of the car is impossible, 2,222 months is a huge number of months. It's quite, uh, it's cut, talking of uh, coming on for 200 years and cars weren't around 200 years ago. And other entries also seem pretty unlikely. I suspect that somebody's been fooling around when they were f filling in the questionnaire in this case. So I would be suggesting that families W date the data from family W should probably be eliminated altogether. So you can see the process of cleaning data is rather subjective. It will depend on the survey you want to be conducting and it will depend upon what background knowledge you've got. But you may well have to throw some data out completely.
often we will have a large database of information which we need to sort and what we've got here is the first few rows of a Excel table giving data about 100 laptops and Ellen wishes to obtain a sample of 10 laptops each with 8 gigabytes of RAM and to use this sample to investigate the prices of such laptops. So how can we produce this small sample for Ellen? Well, the first thing, and really importantly, is before you start doing anything with your um, copy of the data, make sure you've got a backup copy of the data so that any operations you carry out with this list of data, you're not ruining the whole set of data or losing the whole set of data. So, second step, highlight the data excluding the column headings. Okay, well that's fairly easy to do on Excel. Then, select the data menu from the top ribbon and then from the data menu select sort and then what you want to do is you want to sort by column C because column C contains the size of the RAM of all of the different laptops that we've got and press OK When we do that, this spreadsheet will rearrange itself so that the um, laptops are arranged in size of their RAM. So first of all, we've got all of the uh, laptops which just had two RAM, then the laptops which had four RAM, and then further down there will be the laptops with eight, 16, and 32 RAM. Then simply delete all the rows where the RAM is not 8 gigabytes. Then all you'll be left with is the 8 gigabyte laptops and pull these up to the titles. So you've got all of the remaining laptops right underneath the titles. So we'll end up with something looking like that will be a few more rows there because there are more than um, 11 laptops in the survey with 8 gigabytes. In cell I4, just type in equals rand, open brackets, close brackets, to obtain a random number between 0 and 1 and then copy that down column I to the bottom of the data so that each laptop with 8 RAM has got a different random number attached to it. Now at this stage it's quite important we do something now. Select the formulas tab then select the calculation op op options and select manual. If you don't do this, unfortunately the random numbers will recalculate themselves every time you do a new calculation, which we definitely don't want at this point. Having done that then, highlight the data excluding the column headings, select the data menu, then select the sort options and choose sort by column I from the drop down menu to sort the random numbers. The top 10 lines of the data will now be your random sample so you can delete the remaining 8 gigabyte RAM laptops from the sheet. 
Column I can also be deleted now. It's simply used to obtain the sample. So at this point now we've got our sample of 10 laptops, each with 8 gigabytes for Ellen to start doing her statistical analysis on. One important last thing to remember to do is go back, select the formulas tab, choose calculation options and select automatic so that any future spreadsheet work you do recalculates automatically. So in this brief video we've looked at cleaning the data and how it can be sorted so that we can obtain a small sample from a large set of data.